Um, my last question is, what's the difference between organic and biodynamic? Biodynamic, the, the essential difference, uh, there's a lot of little differences, but the essential difference is that with organics, you can, uh, it's not, you don't have to be sensitive to the, to the particular ecosystem. With biodynamics, you don't bring anything outside, so the difference is it's, uh, the organics is the respect to a method of growing, uh, biodynamics is respect to a place of growth. Mm, local, local, local farming. Local farming. Okay. And uh, it's also a return to 19th century farming where we uh, farm by the moon, cycles of the mm -hmm. moon. So we uh, prune, only prune when the moon is quiet. Uh, we pick when the moon's quiet. Uh, what is quiet? Is that a uh, 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 new moon? Oh, okay. Uh, we uh, leaf thin when the moon is full huh. uh, because the, the plant is more vigorous and uh, we rack the wine. We also practice biodynamics in the wine. We rack the wines when the moon is quiet. We, huh. we try to. Huh. Uh, and there's some other belief systems like uh, you make a. Uh, one year we had trouble getting uh, Merlot ripe, and uh, so we got some crystals, and we uh, <laughs> and we biodynamic. <laughs> yeah, biodynamic. <laughs> so we made a we made a spray out of these crystals, and we sprayed a very small amount on all the vines. And I'm thinking this was at the advice of biodynamic witch doctor, you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm very skeptical about it. I'm not, I'm not a scientist. He's a scientist. Yeah. yeah. So I said, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> well, the, the grapes got riper. Really? You no. Know? And so I'm racking my brain trying to figure out where's the science behind this. And it, cut, and it occurs to me that the crystals act like prisms. And, huh. they, and they, the two little crystals refract the light. Huh. And by refracting the light, they put more of the right spectrum of the, of the, of the light mm -hmm. into the leaves, huh. which is going to accelerate the uh, metabolism or the, or the conversion of the carbohydrates by the leaves. So the photosynthesis changes because of the crystals. That's so cool. See, so you're looking at the, the science behind these traditional ways of doing things. Yeah, of course, we have, farmers did this for hundreds of years right. before they had science. Exactly. They just did it because they knew it worked. Exactly. And we still do that. Right. We do things because they work and we don't always know why. So do we have an antler planted somewhere? <laughs> we have a antler, we have a antler uh, dug into uh, uh, the corner of that vineyard up there. Uh, well, Actually it's not an antler, it's a cow horn. It's a cow horn? Yeah. Hey, if it works. All right, now you guys have got a chance yeah, to Remember that, if it works, do it. Yep. <laughs> if it doesn't work, don't do it. it. It makes perfect sense, right? So hey, now that you got a chance to see the vineyard, Let's go try the wine. Robert, thank you so much for joining me. Hey. It's always a pleasure. See you next time. Okay. Bye. And here it is. The finished product. This is the 2006 Deerfield Estate Syrah. And it's really exciting because this is the first ever uh, state wine where we produced all of the grapes that went into this guy. Um, it's all organic. It says in the back, and we were actually we weren't able to put CCOF on the label because uh, the grapes were grown organically, and we actually did produce it organically, but the winery wasn't certified until 2007. So future um, future future vintages of the organic Syrah will say CCOF on the front label, but we were able to put on the back organic Syrah grapes. But it is organic and biodynamic. We're just not allowed to officially slap that on this label and it is a wonderful wine uh, i wouldn't say that we got lucky but as a first run we got it right the first time um, it is it is a testament to what a syrah is supposed to be it's um Oh, it's so, so delicious. It's got really soft, luxurious tannins, lots of fruit, and uh, a little. It's a little peppery on the nose and the back palate, and of course, it's got Deerfield's signature long, long finish. Very elegant. All Deerfield wines are so elegant. But it's just really exciting, you know, being part of the process. We made, I participated in helping make uh, 2009 Deerfield Estate Syrah. 
to the 06. And yeah, it's the cycle. Here's the before, and here's after. You guys should uh, stop by and visit us in Valley of the Moon and pick up a bottle for yourself. Until next time, this is the Cellarat Addison Rex.